Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rahim and Assalamu Alaikum dear students our today's lesson is related to the kidney stones so first of all we will see that what are the kidney stones kidney stones are small hard deposits of the minerals and the acid salts on the inner surfaces of the kidney they have the alternative names include the renal lithiasis renal calculi and the nephrolithiasis Stones are classified by their location in the urinary system and their composition of the crystals. According to the statistics, statistics of the size of the stones, 80% of the stones are under 2 mm in size, while the 90% of the stones pass through the urinary system spontaneously. Generally, stones smaller than 6 mm are passable easily. Now we will talk about the major causes for the formation of the kidney stones. The first cause may include the highly concentrated urine and the urine stasis, imbalances of the pH in the urine and these imbalances may be created to some acidic material like the uric and the cysteine stones. And what are the cysteine stones? These are caused by a rare disorder called the cysteine cystinuria the disorder causes a natural substance called the cystine to leak into the urine when there is too much cystine in the urine the kidney stones can form these stones can get stuck in the kidney kidneys bladder or anywhere in the urinary tract so the alkaline material may include the calcium stones Goat may be the another form, another cause of the urine, uh, sorry, the kidney stone formation. And what is gout? Gout is a common and the complex form of the arthritis. And the hyperparathyroidism is another cause. Other causes may include the inflammatory bowel disease, UTI. UTI means the urinary tract infections. Now we will see the types of the kidney stone. The major type of kidney stones include the calcium oxalate which is caused due to the hyper uh, oxal uh, uricemia which is the high level of the oxalate in the blood. This, that is the most common type of the kidney stones. Then we have the calcium phosphate type of the kidney stones which is caused due to the high level of the calcium or hypercalcium hypercalcemia uh, which is the high level of the calcium in the blood then are the true white types of the uh, stones more common in women than the man commonly a result of the UTS true whites are those types of stones which do not have any uh, common shape but they have many corners and that is very uh, dangerous type of the stones next are the uric acid stones which uh, is caused by the high protein diet and the gout then we have the cystine type of the uh, stones which are fairly uncommon generally linked to a hereditary disorder and what are the cystine stones about this we have talked about earlier now we will see that what are the symptoms or the signs of the kidney stones so this includes the severe flank pain and what is the flank this is the site of a person's body between the ribs and the hip abdominal pain nausea and the vomiting fatigue elevated temperature pp and the respirations and the objective data which is include the uh, perspiration clutching of the abdomen double over steady pain especially the left flank tenderness so these are the symptoms and the signs of the kidney stones a person's which having the kidney stones Diagnost uh, diagnostic features of the kidney stones include the CT scan urine analysis blood analysis abdominal x-ray ultrasound and if the sound if the stones kidney stones are not possible through the uh, urinary tract then the, some surgical procedures are necessary the surgical procedures include the lithotripsy used to break into the smaller fragments allowing it to pass through the urinary tract and this lithotripsy have many types this could be extracorporeal shock wave this could be percutaneous ultrasonic this could be electrohydraulic or the laser type of lithotripsy about these types of the lithotripsy we will talk about in our next lesson the surgical therapies may also be the solution of these kidney stones and the prevention measures prevention measures include the patient education that he or she had what kind of disease hydration is a you can say a high kind of prevention which is very important the drink of three liters of fluid per day that 
measures about 14 cups and the water lemonade which uh, uh, citrate decreases actually the stone formation that's why lemonade helps to uh, reduce the stone formation diet uh, of this person should have low sodium uh, watch amounts of the oxalate low protein so exercise and the increased activity and the medications are also the prevention measures for the persons who have the tendency to uh, you can say build for these kidney stones so this is all about this lesson thank you and allah hafiz